Hey my loves, I hope everybody is doing well today. <sighs> the vibes have just been really high for me today. I had another video planned for today. Honestly, energy was just laying heavy on my heart. If you follow me on Instagram at that girl Vani, you know this week I've been talking about high vibration, low vibration, and what really all of that even means. So when we think of energy, you have to think about our brain, right? And our brain, we can create thoughts, we can create moods, we can really create reality based off of what type of emotions or thoughts we have going on in our brains. So think of our brain and our thoughts almost like these little neurotransmitters that get emitted to the universe, literally. When we have a negative thought or we have a negative emotion followed from a thought, Think of that as going into this big aura field around our body. So have you ever went somewhere and you're just like, wow, the energy's off, or you can kind of tell with people when their energy is off, they have like maybe a sunken down posture or they just don't seem happy. Especially when you're in a higher vibrational state, you can really sense when someone is upset or when someone is down. So what I've been trying to preach lately to people is that energy is very important because it has a lot to do with universal alignment. So when we are in this negative headspace or this negative aura, that is going to create an alignment with whatever we're doing. Let me break this down. Say you wake up, and I've explained this in a recent video as well, but when you wake up and you kind of feed that negative thought, that negative energy, let's say you start off the day with, oh, I gotta go to work, or oh, I really don't like my job, and instead of us tuning into a more positive frequency, we're giving into this negative frequency, okay? So then our shower isn't gonna be that great because we're so thinking about how much we hate work and how we have to go to work. So then after we get out of the shower, we really didn't enjoy that. We're gonna try to go get some breakfast. Maybe the breakfast line is really long and we're irritated by that. Then by the time we get to work, our coworkers are gonna be aggravating us. So it's almost like the whole day we're gonna be aligned with negativity, negative things, negative people, negative experiences, negative situations. And when I tell people, and I just recently had a friend that called me about a really, really terrible situation, I can always tell you, and it's a very hard pill to swallow, but you caused that situation for yourself. And I hate to say it like that, but almost everything I can really think of as far as a thought or negativity goes, if we feed negativity, it's just going to be bringing in more negativity for us. So it's very important for us to switch gears and switch to more positive things. When you wake up, don't feed into IG. Don't wake up with negative thoughts. Don't wake up with, oh my gosh, well this person is doing this and I'm still doing this. Don't worry about what other people have going on because at the end of the day, you have your thoughts, you have yourself. You can't worry about anybody else. So what I always try to preach to people is do those little mental health checks. Do those little wellness checks. Your mind, your body, and your spirit. Is your mind okay today? Is your body feeling okay today? I've had so many individuals DMing me about their bodies and how it feels, especially after they drink. When we're doing these outings, I'll call them outings. When we go out with our friends, we're hanging out, we're drinking, we're partying it up. We wake up that next morning and what do we feel like? Shit. Let's be real. You don't feel good. Your stomach hurts. Your head hurts. That is a low vibrational state you don't want to feel like that in this lifetime at least I hope not and that's why I say when you're in those lower vibrational state you'll be aligned with more and more things that are just, you ever heard the saying misery loves company you're going to attract individuals who are also miserable and the first wake up that you'll kind of feel if you're there if it's happened already I don't know but when I start to wake up to this idea or wow I really have attracted all these negative people or negative situations for my Myself and you can change that. You don't have to go to those negative situations. Ask yourself, when you go to somebody's house, how does it make you feel? Are you questioning their friendship? Are you questioning their, you know, things that they say to you? How do you feel? Are you drinking with these people and then the next morning you feel like crap? Ask yourself. And what you will slowly begin to see is that when you shift into a more positive energy and a more positive headspace, you will then begin to attract more positive things for yourself. I really think it's important to shift your gear to positive things. We don't really know something is a distraction until we get away from the distraction. So when we're on this thing every day, of course we're like, Instagram doesn't bother me. Okay, we'll get off of it. Get off of it for a week. 
try it out <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind the energy is so high right now there's no way like you're gonna go outside you're gonna take that little detox you're gonna sit outside drink you some water get you some fruit in the morning that's another thing what you're eating in the morning sets the tone don't wake up eating nothing dead uh, listen to me do not listen not wake up early in the morning eating something dead people don't understand but food carries a vibration food has energy certain foods have lower energy when we talk about a high vibrational food that's your fruits and your vegetables those are full in bio photons bio photons are very important for when we sit in the sun we're not gonna get burned why do black people have sunburn because there's something in their body that the Sun is not understanding your DNA it's like uh, we're naturally Sun children black people <laughs> I'm speaking to my black community right now I try to get people to connect the dots with what they're eating for instance like days where I just eat really really bad because I still have my little cheat days or whatever I try not to give in though but you know we're still growing we're still going through our human experience so of course I'm telling you days where I eat my fruit and my vegetables that's when I feel the greatest I'm telling you there's there's a lot of things in that food and you know it's true because they're shadow banning people they a lot of my friends are becoming shadow banned that are speaking this holistic ideology because they know that it's a low vibration food there is a such thing as a low vibration food think about it when you go to fast food places or when we eat these packaged foods this is this is stuff that are made is made in factories notice how you just feel better when somebody cooks your food it's energy in it someone who loves you made your food and they put love into it and it's really it's a lot it's a lot you know i teach the holistic approach so i feel very very strongly about the mind the body and the spirit where your mind your body and your spirit are balanced and if your mind is there and your body is not then you're still out of a balance and vice versa and that's with any of the three i hope we are all trying to stay lifted out here go dance go sing don't let anybody steal your joy do not let anybody steal your light whatsoever it could be anything the first thing the first thing is going to be gratitude i guarantee you people don't have their life as we know it right now so if you chose even two minutes out of the day to complain about anything that's you have some audacity and i know we're still humans i still complain about shit but in that moment honey in that moment i make that conscious switch and say you know what somebody's not here today and i am that's i don't know how that cannot switch your frequency gratitude is the first one baby then after that it's love love thyself always and love others love others like you would love yourself i guarantee you your life will change stop complaining stop judging people stop putting yourself in situations where you're getting negative vibes negative energy negative people even don't align yourself with that your whole life will change it's your thoughts it's your energy it's what you would pay attention to what are you paying attention to all day and then everything will make sense everything is in here just turn inwards go inwards it's there this video is heavy today i told y'all i needed about 15 20 minutes for energy but i don't want to make it too long this is a very very heavy topic especially when we talk about sex and who we allow into our temples because that's what this is our temple when you sleeping with somebody what type of thoughts do they have what type of environment do they have are they happy up top do you even know if they're happy up top? Sex is a very, very powerful and strong energy. That's why the black community is always gonna be hypersexualized because the elites, they know that. So of course our music is pumped with it. Everything is pumped with it. Our images, our media, our everything. And I truly saw how important sexual energy is. Is that energy exchange, okay? you are exchanging energy you are exchanging your thoughts your whole body your mind your body and your spirit with this person <sighs> so whatever is up top with them and their mind is going to become in your mind if you don't already please be sure to follow me on these hidden gems i wrap crystals i am starting to experiment with a lot of things now i have nose cuff you will see it go to my website 
under V's Hidden Gems jewelry. I don't want to make this video too long, so. But just know we have a lot of great things in store. If you haven't already, please do so and check out my Instagram page, at that girl Vani. I am also hosting an event with my good girl at World of Q. She is a very, very sweet soul and be sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is awesome. I love her so much. But we are having an event called Sunshine and Good Vibes here in Greensboro, North Carolina at the Greensboro Arboretum. It's going to be July 24th from 12 to 3 o'clock. We're going to have vendors there. It's going to be so, 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 so fun. It's going to be high vibes. So please make sure that you check that out. Also, if you are a vendor in the nearby area, that could be Raleigh, Greensboro, Thomasville, Summerfield, Winston-Salem, High Point, Charlotte, um, and you want to have a chance to get a slot, please be sure to email me, thatgirlvani at gmail.com, and I will get you on my sheet, and we can talk about prices. So the last day for that to be a vendor is going to be July 10th. So you got one day to email me. <laughs> just stay lifted guys that's all with love of course i will see y'all next time be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already bye